Hello friends, good day everybody. Thanks for always watching us. This is Kratom's concert once again. Now we are going to do our Ankara art. To start off, we are going to cut out our material of 19 inches width by 20, uh, 20 inches length. This is 19. Then 20 inches length. That's the first thing you cut out. Then you fold your material into two. The material is two. Please, you cut out two of the measurements. Then fold it into two. Then fold into four. You fold it into two again. It makes still four. Then you fold into two again to make it eight. You folded, you folded one into two. Folded, you folded the two into two again, which makes it four. This is the four. Now we are folding another into two again, which will make it eight. This time we are going to fold it like this. It will form a cone. You won't fold it like you are folding the others. And you measure three inches out. Three inches. Three inches. You mark it. Mark your three inches. Then make sure everything is three inches all around. This place again. Three inches. But if you only measure this one three inches, this place might be short. So make sure you measure it all around. Okay. Space again. Inches. Three inches. So now is it you mark it? Then you measure five inches again. This one might be more than five, it depends on your choice. This is our flay. It now depends on how you want the flay to be wide. You want the flay to be small, it might be four inches, but at least make it five inches and above. So from the three inches, you measure five. This is five. You know, we are still going to sew it in. So let's make it five or five and a half. It depends. But I'm using five. Let me use five. This is it. You have to do it again round to be sure it is five or two. So you have to mark it. So let's cut it out. You follow the lines. The line you have already marked. Yeah, can I see? So you now cut out your three inches too. The three inches already marked there. Cut it out too. We'll keep it somewhere because we are going to use it later. So see our play. Yes, sir. How do I look? That is our flame. But yours might be wider than this, and I be, I might not be as wide as this. So to continue your work, so we are putting gum, gum stay. 
you put it here then now put it together like this because it it needs to be at the back because we are going to turn the fabrics so this is our flare okay. I love to work my needle because I don't want to hear the excuse of I cannot I don't have a machine that's why I cannot produce this thing you run your stitches around because you have to turn it later run your stitches so you run your stitches but make sure there is a little opening a little opening that will help you to turn your fabric because if you close everything you might not be able to turn it so run it run it this is a base like this can you see so you now stitch the base to this base that's what I did. You just bring it like this. Look at. So this will be the inside. So this is what the result will give to you. So look at. As I said, the, the round, that three inches that I cut out. Then see the five inches and the width and the twenty-five inches length that I cut out. I joined this one to this one. After joining it, I closed it here. See my own closing. I folded it two together and stitch it here. Look at. After doing that, the base, and now I joined it. See my join. You can decide to use bias to tape your work so that it will not be shown. As in, anybody that picks it up, look at. You can use bias. To need to save your work so, so that they won't know where it ended, where it started. But at least I have achieved my purpose. This is it. That's without the gum stay. Without the gum stay. But you can decorate your work. You can do something like this. Put your rules. Or your bow or your sunflower to decorate it so that you but if you want to flip to be more than this then this piece will be wider than five inches okay thanks for watching thank you all the time love you all